Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily find out uh, which retention policies I applied to a certain uh, SharePoint site. Uh, let me uh, give you a few use cases. So sometimes I work with clients and they maybe ask me to make a change to a particular site or maybe, you know, delete uh, one of the sites um, or maybe register a site as a hub. And, you know, when you have a policy, um, you know, uh, applied to uh, a retention policy that is from Microsoft's purview, uh, some of those actions in SharePoint are prohibited, all right? So for example, um, I have this client document site and I'm trying to delete it and look at this, I'm getting a, an error message, a compliance compliance policy is blocking the site deletion. But, you know, we, we absolutely know we don't need anything here. We must, uh, you know, disable this policy and then delete the site. Or let me give you another use case. I have uh, this um, site over here. All right, uh, right here. And I remember applying some uh, label uh, retention policies, all right? Uh, it's not, uh, you know, the whole retention policy to this specific site, but just only to certain, you know, uh, to certain documents inside of this site. And I just don't remember which ones I applied, all right? So I need to find out, maybe tweak them, delete them, uh, you know, disable them, etc. So how do we uh, do that? All right, so let me show you uh, the trick. So uh, let me uh, first uh, copy the URL of the site. I think I have it right here. All right, so let's find out uh, which retention policies I applied uh, to this particular site. So uh, to um, take advantage of this feature, you obviously need to have uh, proper access and role and license to um, the Compliance Center or Microsoft Purview, as we call it now. So let me open that up and uh, let's see. So uh, we are going to go to, uh, within the Microsoft Purview, we are going to go to uh, Data Lifecycle Management, Microsoft 365. And this is where I have all these different retention policies, but I'm not sure, you know, which policy is applied to which site and so on. So let's find out. Uh, you click on policy lookup and you can, you know, find policies, you know, all these different policies by different characteristics. Maybe you applied it to somebody's OneDrive or you applied the retention policy to the whole group. In my case, I know the site URL. So you choose the site, you paste the URL of the site and click search. And let's find out, shouldn't take long. Here we go, oh, look at this. It shows me I have this um, delete content older than six months. So I apparently I created this retention policy a while back and I applied it to this particular site. So all the older content older than you know six months is going to be uh, deleted. So what I can do now, now that I know this information, this is critical right here, this is the name of my policy. Uh, I can now click on uh, the policies themselves and uh, here we go, this is the policy. And now, of course, if I need to edit it, maybe exclude that site uh, or maybe, you know, tweak it, right, uh, change the duration and so on, I can easily do so, all right? So that's a nice a little trick. Now, very important, it only shows kind of the active, you know, retention policies, all right? So. Uh, if it's the policy is disabled, uh, then obviously, all right, uh, it's not going to uh, to uh, show it to you when you when you try to search for it under the policy lookup. So that's very very uh, important. Uh, other than that, it's a nice uh, little um, you know uh, uh, tool, uh, little option. I use it all the time, especially when I work uh, you know with uh, you know new clients and new tenants, and I have no idea what's going on. So this is definitely something you might be using uh, quite a bit. All right, so that's all I wanted to uh, show you to you in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always. Happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.